Pete Agnew and Dan McCafferty talk about the big Nazareth hit, the cover of Love Hurts. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. We talked to Pete Agnew last year. We just talked to Dan McCafferty, who's the former lead singer of Nazareth, about a month ago. So we're combining some of those when we talk about the big hits. This time around, we talk Love Hurts from Hair of the Dog. With Love Hurts, did you ever get, I mean, that was such a big song, and that was such, uh, with, the, with the Hair of the Dog was such a big uh, album, but did you ever get any uh, setback on that song? Because did, did anyone ever tell you, you, oh my God, Nazareth is selling out, because I still sound, that still sounded like Nazareth to me. Right. I, I, I think the only comment, the, the only sort of, what's the word I'm looking for, damage it did to us, and, and, and it did no damage at all, really. But because Love Hearts, at the time it was AM and FM radio, and we found we couldn't get any more tracks played on AM radio apart from Love Hearts. Mm. You know what I mean? Because they were all a bit too hardcore or hard for, for the AM radio. But that's the only downside of that song. Apart from that, I just love it to death. And you I still think it's the best version of Love Hearts. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I don't mean that in a big way. I, I think it's the best version. I agree. And I, and I remember I heard yours first, then heard the Everly Brothers, and then became a fan of Boots and Brian. I just, I just, I loved all the stuff the Everly Brothers did. I mean, I've, I've loved those like 20 versions of Love Hearts up there that there's absolutely nothing wrong with them at all. People make... People make a great job of that song because it's such a good song, I guess, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know. Do you, I guess uh, we were just lucky God when you're going to have that with that song, Elfie Pop now. You know, in 1975 with Hair of the Dog and Love Hurts, how much has that changed the band? How much has that changed? I mean, you guys, was there ever a point where you thought, well, we're not sure if this machine's going to work, but, I mean, there was no denying that in 75, it's like the world heard you. Well, it was you know the the thing is with with the with the band we were doing very very well and throughout the world but you but and well mainly yeah yeah you know all of Europe which is a it was a and uh, most bands British bands are very very happy to to be big in Britain that's that but you can't make an entire career well there's very few can make an entire career out of this little island you know there's only so much you can do here so you had to make it in, 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 in Europe you know you had to out there in Germany and all these places but the, the you know the, the big one was always you, to prove yourself you had to get a hit in America I and mean, it always was you, that, that had to think. and we'd done we'd done good and I mean Canada was always far as still is still is a favourite place to go I mean but, I mean Canada was really really great to us we were already huge in Canada before Hair of the Dog you know all our albums up until then I had, I had well, three platinum albums up in Canada by the time we did Hair of the Dog we never had any hits in the States but when you get hit in the States that was like somebody put the approved mark you know they stamped your head you know you've done it you've made it in the, in, in the home of rock and roll where it came from you know and that was very, very important. And what happened was that uh, that that's almost as if you've you've you know you get your ticket at the top of the thing to say that's it, son. You've made it. You know you've done it, and you've done it in America as well. And that was very important to to, to the band. And because when and we then had that huge country that we could tour all the time. That was, uh, so uh, and then between that, Canada, Brazil. You know we've always been lucky with all the places we could do. The uh, uh, that gave the sort of the stamp of approval, I think, with that album, that 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 hair of the dog, and uh, and and you know because you see that show, hair of the dog album, it was massive in, in in America. That wasn't the biggest album in Europe, even after it was huge in America. You know, it wasn't the biggest selling album that, of the band and. And, and, and Europe and with that you know we still uh, it, it, it was a hit the song Son of a Bitch was a hit but, but it was a big hit in America because it was a swear word you know yeah. when you're playing in Germany it didn't mean anything you know the swear yeah. word didn't mean anything actually it didn't mean that much in Britain either to tell you the truth well, but uh, what was the biggest album then? well there's, there, there's there, actually there's, there, there were several uh, Loud and Proud was a, a massive album it was Raz, Raz Ass, but Loud and Proud was a very very big album because I had this flight tonight on it, you know, and 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 and, and um, you know, that in Germany that was that was massive. You see, the the what what happened with, with the big big hit on on Hair of the Dog was Love Hurts, but in America it was, it was only on the American copy. We did Love Hurts when well. we recorded Love Hurts. We recorded it as a B side. 
We'd, it wasn't on the album. It wasn't on the Hair of the Dog album. When Hair of the Dog was released in all throughout the world, all throughout Europe and South America, every place, it had a song called Guilty on it as a Randy Newman song. And when we took the album, to, you know, it was being released in America later. And when we went, when we took the album to, uh, well, I still know it was released at the same time, but we took the album to Jerry Moss at a and Records. And he heard Love Hurts that we'd recorded and said, these are going to be B-sides, you know, because you always, you'd take a track off an album and then they used to always take another track and put it as a B-side, which we always thought, that's horrible. You're stripping your album. So then bands used to record other songs to put on B-sides, you know, of singles. Yeah. So that was Love Hurts. And when he heard Love Hurts, he said, this is amazing. I'm taking Guilty off the album and I'm putting Love Hurts on it. Well, God bless you, Jerry, because it became the biggest hit we've ever had, you know. But what happened was that was a huge hit and hit of the dog uh, in, in America that was never on these other ones. So when it, it, when it appeared in Europe, it appeared as a single only, and then it went on a Greatest Hits album in Europe later. So that Hit of the Dog album didn't have that, that big, big hit on it, you know. So it was a huge seller in America. Oh, it's a, it's a huge selling album. I mean, it was probably the, big se- the biggest selling album of Nazareth in the world, but that's because of the American sales, you know. Last Testament is the brand new album from Dan McCafferty. There's links in the description of this video, also links to buying a t-shirt with three logos, if you like. We have uh, three major rock channels. Rock History Music, which is this one. It's the most popular one. Rock History Canada for the history of Canadian music. And Rock History Book for our long-form videos where we do track by tracks of albums, top tens of years and things like that. You can buy a t-shirt with any one of those logos on it. Links in the description of this video. It helps support this channel. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.